There's just so many reasons why people can't learn as well in a classroom environment. I'm Karen Hobbs, I'm one of the directors here at Tilden. And I'm Sherry Noonan, I'm the other director, and we work very closely together to carry out the mission of Tilden. Um, we opened up in 2006, and as we grew, we moved to this location on Solano Avenue in Albany. With the success of the Albany location, we've opened up in Walnut Creek, where we're located right across from the Walnut Creek Library in downtown and very accessible to park. So I'm Pep, this is Jane. Oh, hi. I always envisioned that there ought to be a, a situation that could tailor a program for a different learner. This school, Tilden Prep, is sort of on the cutting edge. We are in a place in history where we really need some people to problem solve in a, in a new paradigm, in a new creative way. Teachers here will help to engage them and show them, hey, that learning can be really fun. We're both a full-time school and here for students that want to take individual courses. So a lot of times students come to us mid-semester when they realize that either they've missed too much class or they're having difficulty in their school for whatever reason. And that's perfectly fine time to come out of their school they're in and come to Tilden. We'll set them up really very quickly. In a, in a public school, you have to follow the schedule. There is no way that you can change it. Here you can change it. I'm better at English than math. I can just fly through the English and start a new class halfway through the year. Sometimes they have extracurricular interests they really want to pursue and so they want to be in school less time, which you can do with a one-on-one -on -one program. Um, sometimes they feel overwhelmed by too long of a day and a shorter day really works for them. Sometimes they want to learn to their learning style preference and that works with the one-on-one -on -one because the teachers can tailor the class to their learning style preference and um, also to their interest because some kids have lost motivation along the way to learn and they feel like why bother but teachers here will help to engage them and show them hey that learning can be really fun. I've worked with students that come here because they're just super duper duper interested in all kinds of things and they're way too bored in public school and they don't have any you know learning disabilities per se or any any um, of those kinds of challenges but rather they need to be way more stimulated and so they come here to just get that you know intensified accelerated course then you have students who come here because they are having a lot of difficulties that can't be addressed in a group setting in which case you can really hone in on what they're having difficulties with, like reading or writing, and really focus on exercises that will improve um, or help them improve that area. What brings students here, I think it's an array of things, and so you get students who are personality-wise, academically, interest-wise, just completely diverse. I feel that any student could fit here at Tilden. At Tilden, we're teaching our courses one-to-one -one or in small groups for academic courses and then in larger groups for elective courses like studio art or digital photography. When you're in a huge classroom or in any classroom where there's more than one student, you have to kind of follow the pace, even if you don't understand it. In the one-on-one, -on -one, I can actually understand stuff, which is totally different because normally, you know, I'd, for math, I'd be, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll say I understand it and I'll fail every test. But this year I actually understood math, which is weird. He got to know his instructors on a personal level and this kind of enriched the subject matter even more because it, it took it places that it, it doesn't go in just your normal class lecture. We hire teachers who really know and love their subject and who really enjoy working with teens. I've had several students from 10th to 12th grade. And so you're watching them go through this incredibly you know, transformative period of their lives. I am working with students in a one-on-one -on -one scenario and I get to really, really focus on the needs of my students. 
we develop a relationship where we enjoy each other's company and that's leveraged nicely to also sneak in academics. We start with the learning styles assessment and help the kids see whether they're really visual learners or auditory learners, kinesthetic learners, and often a regular school doesn't provide the opportunity for that. So we can help them walk while they're memorizing, figure out what they need to put in boxes in their mind, just enormous amounts of techniques to help them feel confident in their learning. There really isn't much in the way of trickery, it's just the fact that it's the proximity more so than anything else and the fact that you know, I, I watch my students keenly for what they're responding to and where their difficulties are and I know that every single teacher in my department is able to do that and, and does it on a minute by minute basis because that's where we can isolate where their difficulties are but it's also an opportunity for us to identify their strengths. A class uh, has a fixed curriculum, so there is a book that you need to follow and there are topics that need to be covered and tests that need to be taken. But the way that you teach the student that is really open. One of the most important things to me is connecting with each individual student and starting with where they are. Then we start from that. If a student is passionate or interested in one aspect of whatever it is we're studying, we can go and explore that. And it's, it's const, almost constant engagement because we're never doing something that doesn't touch on what their interest is. Pretty soon they're reading at a much higher level. They have much higher confidence in their reading ability. And they're starting to believe in themselves as learners. They're willing to hang on through the material even as it gets difficult. They start to believe in themselves, then they start pushing themselves. It's amazing to see what happens. And we're using mastery learning, which means that we're working students up to 80% level of mastery or higher. At Tilden, it's more about learning the material than just passing the test. Mastery learning really takes the focus off grades because students know that they're going to be able to work up to that level of mastery. So it puts the focus on how they're going to learn the material. And we have a wonderful um, progress reporting system that's customized to our school so that the kids can see the progress they're making and the parents can too, so you can monitor the pace of the class. We can assess how do they learn best and then once that's going, it really snowballs, it really moves ahead. There's also an ability for the students on a social level to kind of transcend or at least get past what can be kind of a tribal experience in a mainstream high school. So in that sense, the social, uh, social experience is also individualized because since we don't have so much of that social construct, they're able to kind of look at each other as individuals. I've made friends here that I never would have made had I been anywhere else, and I'm really happy about that. I have a terrific group of friends that I've grown up with from, from my previous school, and coming here has just, I, I can still spend the same amount of time with them, but it's also kind of eye-opening. It lets you know that, like, Everyone kind of deals with the same stuff, especially in high school, and it doesn't matter what kind of background you come from or what you look like or what clothes you like to wear because you're all kind of here. This is an amazing community. You're all here to support each other. I think it's also a function of just the environment here where they can look at each other as people instead of who's part of what group. colleges know that these students have really mastered this material. They haven't just pushed through and gotten a grade without really understanding the material. And it works well in terms of building academic muscles in students. They learn how they learn best and how to stick with even difficult or challenging material to the point that they really understand it. His instructors were able to write really authentically felt recommendations because they really knew our son and they knew his strengths. And 
it was the directors were wonderful in, in helping us through that long process of applying for college, which can be daunting and very supportive too. We will practice writing SAT essays so that they're familiar with the topic, they're familiar with how to go through this process, so that they're not surprised. We focus on developing study skills and writing skills, so students are really well prepared to handle those kinds of challenges that they get in college. So at Tilden, the teachers are on your side, they're your friends, they're here to help. I really love the process here, it really looks well. It's a common struggle of youth, sadly wondering, why can't I be the same as my friends? And for a long time, how much I stood out made my life feel very difficult. But now I'm proud of how strong and distinct the years of standing out have made my voice.